Hey everybody, Kyle here again with SoftwareMedia.com. Uh, in our last tutorial, I showed you the ribbon in Microsoft Word 2010. Today, I'm going to show you the same thing in PowerPoint 2010. Uh, just like in Word, in PowerPoint, the ribbon has replaced the normal toolbar where you would see File, Edit, View, Window, and all that stuff. Instead, you've got your tabs and all of your common commands and other menu items uh, right up here for easy access. So your first is your file tab, and that's kind of where you, you save your documents, open, close, view all your recent documents, you can print things. This is your home tab, this is where you're going to find your layout, um, you can even draw shapes, your styles, you're going to find, replace. Next is your insert, where you're going to do pictures, Um, you can reset your whole layout to its original formatting. You can, take, you can even take screenshots. I mean, you can put shapes, charts, text box, headers, and footers. Next, you have your design. This is where you're going to find all of your theme templates, which will get you started in a nice professional presentation. You have your transitions tab. This is where you can add all the transitions between slides. And this is very similar to video editing, where you'll have various dissolves, push, wipes, splits, things of that nature. And this is only if you want to go from one slide to the next. So, example, we'll, a new slide, then a fade. Next, you have your animations. This is where you're going to animate individual elements of your slide. For example, if you want to fly in, float in. You can add many more animations from here. They have many effect options. You can even create custom animations which we'll go over in a different tutorial. Next you have your slideshow. This is where you can preview your slideshow from the beginning. Uh, from the current slide you have many different options here. You have your review tab. This is where you spell check, research, translations. Then your view. This will change the layout and the way you view your PowerPoint document. And that is the ribbon in PowerPoint 2010. Uh, stay tuned and we'll have plenty more tutorials for you on Microsoft Office 2010 and uh, many other software programs here at softwaremedia.com.